Good morning. Good morning. It's spicy. You gotta keep this one 13 minutes. Oh, I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> His phone says, uh, I need to leave stuff. How much, like, memory? Doing, uh, all the video stuff on there. It adds up real quick, but hopefully, and I mean, hopefully, we cleared things up in the video we did. Um, yesterday. At this point, we don't know. This is the day before. Uh, we don't know exactly what y'all... It's uploading in the moment and about to be put out. Yeah. But hopefully we cleared it up. Hopefully um, some people understood where we were coming from that didn't. For everyone that did understand, appreciate you. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're spoiling anything. We might, but uh, we may be hanging out with the Junos here in a minute. I may not. May not. I'm, maybe from here to where we're going, I may decide I don't want to hang out with Flint. <sighs> I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but we're going to go, uh, spend some time with them for a little bit. Uh, and today is a, a good reason why having everything all spread out all around Oklahoma wears on you. Yeah. <laughs> so you may not, I think you could tell the forerunners back there. We're in the forerunner right this minute. Well, some of the things we need, where is it? The truck in Bixby. So the truck is over an hour away right now. Um, we brought out materials we needed and everything to uh, work on this as you guys can tell little board and batten action and painting and, and stuff I uh, got some gutters over there. We're about to hang up uh, It's just we need everything here. We need even if everything was at the building in Bristow 10 minutes go get it. It'd just be so easy um, but going back and forth and doing all that stuff and it's just it's it's getting to us and it it's the little things like literally the little things that keep you from doing the big things and uh it's we don't feel defeated but it's, like, it's like getting a sticker in your foot it ain't gonna kill you it's just so annoying um but uh we're trying to work through it we came up with a pretty good plan of what we're gonna do to get things done uh you guys know we have a, a short amount of time left to uh, fully get everything uh, finished up here uh, I guess we could give you guys a little we normally hold out on a lot of things but Hit them with it. we'll give you all a little sneak peek of what's to come um, we're actually gonna build the uh, fence area right here a little bigger than we were originally doing and there were some comments saying hey you know get your priority straight get your animals set up and then get a front fence set up well one of the days we actually spent the entire day yeah driving oh to we, go, i think we drove about it was like eight hours it was a full day of driving and then we had to drive super slow because we had a massive load you guys know if you are watching one day it was the day the generator messed up i called the place to see if we can go pick up stuff we needed our trailer was not big enough and uh we do know you know, Junos would gladly help us out. Paragon Ridge Ranch would probably gladly help us out with trailers. Some of you guys would help us out. Uh, we hit up your brother. He's got a roofing company. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just like, we need to go now to get this stuff before it's gone. So we took a 16-foot trailer, and we got 20-foot stuff for fence. Um, Jason, that's not safe. Well, safety third. No. Uh, no we, Obviously, when it comes to others on the road we filmed it all yeah. and uh we did it as safe as we could and whenever i called the company that had the um panels uh i asked i said do you think it'd be okay on a 16 foot trailer he said i'll just tell you this the guy that just tried that lost the whole load pulling out of the driveway and i said oh no and then i said you know what the guy probably didn't do it right the crockers do things right and so I said, let's risk it for the biscuit. And we drove out there, and I pulled up. I said, you remember talking to the guy with the 16-foot trailer? That's me. I'm here to try it. And we loaded it up and everything. Uh -huh. And the guy said, looks better than the last guy. I think you'll like, be all right. All right, let's go. And so... Um, but it did take us forever driving. Um, because we were going very slow. We drove 50 miles an hour on a highway that you... The minimum was 60 miles an hour. And Jason, so, uh, that's not safe. well, it's, it was a lot safer than going fast. Once you went over, Again, it's important for us 
to get this fencing done and the front fence done. Yes. <laughs> and again, to emphasize very much so, we are very safe when it comes to outside of this property and, and going long distance and doing things. We're not going to put everyone in danger. And I, uh, I know, I already know people are saying, but Jason... You drove with the tractor on the trailer with one tire, you idiot. That was, it was perfectly fine. Um, and then it was a very, very short distance. Uh, but uh, we got it, and uh, unfortunately it took a whole day. Uh, I know this has been dragging out for a good while now. Uh, you guys know, we now y'all know, we went and did that. Uh, we did things to sell Shoot Dang Ranch. We did stuff to get our new building. Uh, we've done other stuff to get materials. Uh, just things in our normal life. Again, and, and spending all day driving yeah, everywhere. Making sure the animals are good here. Make sure the animals are good are there. Make sure we got this going here. Getting supplies. It's been all over. Now we have what we need. And uh, it's it's finally happening where it's, it's starting to work pretty good. And uh, you guys will see in the next video on the Crockers. Okay, it all makes sense. Everything you're doing, it looks fantastic. Y'all did a great job. Everything's good and peachy. At that point, we can move the animals. Yeah, we will be able to move the animals. And uh, as you guys can tell, again, there's gutters over there. We're going to have one of those big black water totes that we have already full of water. And then anytime it rains, it'll top it off. We're on a waiting list to get a water well. Mm -hmm. We're figuring out... Um, the uh, how to get the septic in where we would need it eventually someday mm -hmm. and then at that point we can get power and so yeah. because and i think we have said this but i know people don't watch every single video and the big thing is like why would you move someplace without getting power and water first unfortunately with the power we do have to have certain things set up beforehand yeah and uh, the water again on the list. Yeah, there's only so much you can do and we're not gonna wait around. Yeah. Uh, last time we waited around and you see how that worked out, waiting and then we found out, oh, they forgot about us at the water well. Oh, yeah. they don't wanna come put electric out. Oh, so we're just moving along, we're doing things, we're getting it done. And mm -hmm. I just want y'all to know, worst case scenario, we can't get a water well. Mm -hmm. We can't get power for a while. We can get, we can get both. Let's yeah. say it takes a while. Well, yeah, just saying it. We will get both. We're getting both, but let's say it takes longer than expected. We got generators for power. We got solar stuff for power. And as far as water goes, we will have a rain catchment on here. And we have a water tote that we can drive to the house in Bigsby. Mm -hmm. We could drive or to the to building in town. The building. Or you guys already know, Juno's would probably help us out. Uh, you know, anyone around here, we've even had the neighbors tell us that literally live around the corner, There, his dad does, if y'all need water, go there. Clearly, we don't want to ask anybody yeah. unless we just need it, need it. But they will never go without their water or anything like that, the animals. And as far as we go, we've lived off grid long enough. We good. We don't want to do it, but we've got it. We could do it. And uh, we have our options to uh, make everything as comfortable as possible for us out here. But it's kind of in that weird time right now. It is. Where everything's trying to line up and it's kind of all at once. Yeah. Where it seems all over the place. But I mean, soon it'll be animals out here. It'll all fall in the place at the same time. Exactly. And y'all should know by now that's how it works for us. Um, and then what's funny. Gotta keep up with it. All what, right. <laughs> what's funny too is the neighbors that have the 20 acres next to us, uh, his dad has a house up the way but also bought they bought new property they're in the same boat we're in and they're not on youtube they don't have uh you know this following of people telling them anything the only difference between us and them is we have videos that go out to everybody to comment on but they're in the exact same boat we are and it doesn't mean they're not doing things right mm -hmm. it's just that's just what happens when you live out here and then another comment that we've gotten was why do y'all keep portraying Oklahoma to be so bad? I live an hour south of you guys. It's not, it's not like you guys say it is. And what do we say is bad? They said because we said there was people showing up on the property. Oh. We're being careful. We're not painting the pictures. Oklahoma's bad. I yeah. actually think Oklahoma's better than Texas. 
And I never thought I would say that. You heard it here. And I've said it before, but uh, maybe not on a video. But it's not that we don't like Oklahoma. It's not that I we're talking Oklahoma. trash. It's just when you show up and there's a random person on your property that even the neighbor doesn't know. And no one knows who it is. And then... And then also we, we just like have a history. A history of people. As most of y'all know, okay. we got people that don't like us. And then also... Um, a week before that, one of the neighbors showed up and just told us to be careful. Um, I, I think it was like a couple days before Maybe. That. I accidentally forgot my chainsaw on the front, and they stopped and almost picked it up for me because they didn't want someone to stop. They said, there is a family that's around here. We don't know if they're still here or not, or if the they're maybe locked up or what, but just wanted you to be aware there is someone around here that used to do a bunch of stuff and steal stuff and break into people's houses just wanted you to be aware of it mm -hmm. so all we're doing is we're being cautious of it and being as safe as you can jason how dumb is that to run up with a shotgun and do this and that i i don't regret it at all um no regrets no regrets uh i think if someone this is what i told danielle if someone were to come out here and try to do something and the owner walks up with the pew pew, the chances are they ain't gonna do it again. But if you walk up, you're like, would you please leave? Please, sir, please leave. You know, they're gonna come back and do it again. But if you show up, they're like, oh, wow, I could, this could go really bad for me. They're probably not going to do it again. So you, to me, in my eyes, and this is our property, you set that standard real high, real quick, and uh, it, it, it'll make people think twice, so. To get off my lawn. That's the way I see it. So, um, anyways, uh, we are going to uh, go hang out with the Junos, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> now, we'll, uh, I don't, I don't know if anything will be filmed. Maybe take some photos. Maybe nothing. But uh, it is nice to uh, hang out with some friends mm -hmm. and uh, to know that we're not far away and that we're able to right now go hang out with them since we couldn't the other night mm -hmm. um you know things like can't go live with them because of our animals but if the animals were here then we could so we're working Think on about it. all the li the lives we could be doing with the junos wow. so we're working on it but uh we do appreciate you guys watching hopefully the video we put out answer a lot of questions for everyone and uh i think you guys will like the uh next i think the next week to two weeks worth of videos on the crockers it's on. Yeah. It's on and popping. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. We'll catch you on the next one.